Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to start looking at intents and uh, we're going to use an intent to start um, one activity from another. So at the moment in my application here I've got two activities. I've got this uh, image activity that um, displays an image and it can record a set of pass points uh, that will either let the user through to the next um, stage or not. And then I've got this main activity which um, is where the user can write some notes. And at the moment this main activity is not doing anything, it's not being used. But I want it uh, so that um, if you press the right points in this image activity it then triggers the main activity and I've, I've already put some code in here, a tiny little bit of code, so that if this on post execute um, method here from the code that verifies uh, whether the right points were pressed or not, if that um, passes the user and says yes, the user has pressed the right points, then we want to do something here. Otherwise, I'll just show a toast and say access denied, and we'll stay on that on that screen. Um, so now to go to the main activity, which is what we want to do, uh, we need to create a thing called an intent. And an intent is uh, is a way of saying, is a way of telling your phone that you want to do something. And intents can be, uh, they're, they're usually used for starting new activities. And they can be um, very specific, like say just run this particular activity. Or they can ask your phone just to do something in general and let your phone figure out then exactly how to do it. So we'll be seeing more of intents in the future, but I wanted to show you the most basic possible usage here. So we need to create an intent class, an intent object here I should say, um, and I, I'll declare a intent variable which I'll call, just call it i because we're going to use it immediately, and I'll say that i equals new intent. Now I want to use a particular constructor of the intent class and the first argument is going to be um, the context which is going to be um, the this, it's going to be the um, this pointer of the activity I'm in uh, which is um, image activity dot this. I can't type just this by itself here because that would refer to this anonymous class that I happen to be in here. Uh, so to get the this reference of the enclosing class, I'm going to have to type image activity dot this. But uh, basically, you just need to pass in um, an, a reference to an activity there, the one that you're actually in. And the second argument is going to be the class, uh, the the activity class that we want to start. So I'll say here main activity, and I'll use dot class to get the actual class object associated with this main activity. So that, that will give us an intent that could be used to start the main activity and to actually make it do that um, I just need to say start activity. So I'm going to use a method of the activity class and I just need to pass it the intent that I want to start. So it's, it's, uh, it's actually really simple, you just need to create an intent first argument is the, this reference of the activity you're in, second argument is the class object of the activity you want to start and then just call start activity and pass it that intent. And let's have a look at that actually working. So I'll click run here and let's have a look at the console. And um, I'm just going to pause my recording for a second. Okay, so it's now like 30 seconds later and here's my application and this is, um, I did like, uh, when I started the emulator I went to the AVD manager and clicked start and I um, I checked uh, clear user data or whatever it says to wipe the database and that's why we're seeing this screen. So I click OK on here and I'm going to click four points here, one, two, three, four and it says storing pass points and I can now log in. Um, I could also actually um, 
go straight in at that, at that point. In fact, maybe I should have a toast here that says, now enter the pass points again. But let's, let's just do it now. So I'll enter the wrong ones first. So just random points here. It says checking and then access denied. And that's my toast coming up. But uh, if I click the right ones, one, two, three, four, then it will run my intent and I, I go to my um, it will it will trigger my intent uh, and start activity runs and I go to this other activity here where I can now enter my notes so that's it for this tutorial and um, we, will, we will look at more um, stuff with intents for sure um, and this is just a really basic and actually very simple usage that can connect up your two activities or more okay so that's it for now and until next time, happy coding.